Welcome to our leadership talk. Today we have with us our new dynamic chairman of All India Council for Technical Education, Professor T. G. Sitara. Sir, welcome to the leadership talk. Thank you, Abhay. Namaskar. Namaskar. Namaskar to everyone. First, I would like to congratulate you for taking over as a chairman for AICT. I think now you have been here for about a month or so, and you would have understood all the systems. So, sir. How different was joining AICT as compared to your very illustrious work in organizations like IICs and IIT Guwahati? So, what is the difference you feel here? Uh, thanks for a very intriguing question. This, uh, you know, the movement from Indian Institute of Science to Indian Institute of Technology Guwahati to AICT is really a phenomenal change. Let me tell you, when I was a professor at Indian Institute of Science, it was mainly, you know, as a civil engineer, I, I was doing my research work, plus some consulting and guiding my doctoral students, and maybe teaching uh, for my master's and PhD students. Because, as you know, Indian Institute of Science is the postgraduate uh, teaching institution. Our undergraduate program is very small. We were not involved directly. From there, a moment was a phenomenal shift for me as an administrator at IIT Guwahati. Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati is in such a remote corner, I had not even been to that part of the world. And it was a very young institute. When I joined, IIT Guwahati was completing 25 years. It was a Silver Jubilee celebration. So, it was 2019, July 1st, I joined the institute. Then, you know, we took time to understand and then, you know, came up with large programs. And by the time I left on December 20th of uh, 2022, we had transformed that institute into multidisciplinary education. See, we have started now School of Business, School of uh, uh, Health Science and Technology, School of Agro uh, and Rural Technologies, School of Energy Science and Engineering. Okay, And this is a phenomenal shift for even for IITs. Okay, even though IITs are known as you see, today, when they started, they started as an engineering institution, elite engineering colleges, I can call. But today, they are multidisciplinary research universities. I, I wanted to quote that word, research. Research is very critical for the success of our higher education system as well as the country's growth. I think from there, I moved to uh, AACT, which is, uh, I feel, you know, we can do some phenomenal changes. Whatever we do in IITs, even though we have 23 now, but majority of the older IITs are, you can say, about 8 to 10 are doing excellently well. And other, all of other things are coping up and becoming a, a institute of relevance. However, whatever we do will be restricted to that, that institute. But here, we can make a big change to the entire nation because 8,000 and odd institutions are comes under All India Council for Technical Education. Very true, sir. And this becomes very, very important because now our Honorable Prime Minister has given a clarion call that India should be developed country by 2047. And from that perspective, role of AICT institutions is going to be far more critical than these premier institutions because 99% of our students are into these uh, institution. So, what what is what is you think is your roadmap or vision, and how our engineering colleges should gear up for uh, fulfilling this vision of 2047? Yeah. If you really want to become a relevant country in 2047 to the whole world, we need to focus on research and innovation. I, I please watch my word. I use the first research. Innovation cannot happen without research. Very true. Research, we need to focus on research. That is actually, if you look at these colleges, almost zero. They are not there. Innovation, uh, I think, you know, thanks to your leadership at AACT, where we have brought the innovation, institutions, innovation centers have been created. There is some awareness about that now. I think we need to now augment the activities of research in these institutions. And we also need to really bring funds, and provide funds to the faculty and students to do research. So today, what is happening is, you know, students are joining these institutions 
are simply looking at you know completing their bachelor's degree and getting to a job. Right. So placement is the critical activity there. But I think we need to, if you want to really transform our nation to 20, by 2047, we need to emphasize on Anusandhan. Mm, very true. That's very critical aspect of these institutions. And if you look at our national education policy 2020 also, emphasizes research even from school education. Very true. So definitely in higher education. Mm. I think that sector, that's what I would like to focus at my, in my term at AACT, focus on research and innovation. Very true. So without research, innovation doesn't exist. Innovation will lead to products, technology, problem solutions for our uh, country. And then, you know, our societies will see, see change through these innovations. And from there, I think, you know, we can be a sort of a developed country serving the whole world, not only providing the manpower, also our products, technology products, which are, I mean, Atmanirbhar Bharat is exactly the same thing. Honorable Prime Minister is emphasizing Atmanirbhar Bharat. That means unless, you know, we, our country, start producing our own products with our own innovations, I think we'll no we'll know be there at 2047. So, but I, I think enough time is there and people are very intellectual. So, if we create an ecosystem, I think we will do this positively. So, that ecosystem which I would like to work on, a research ecosystem in the institutions. Sir, uh, as you rightly said, sir, and uh, you have actually used the phrase research and innovation. So, you first research and then innovation. Sir, so what do you think where currently uh, uh, our uh, tier 2 institutions, tier 3 institutions are lacking? They are lacking in terms of mindset. They are lacking in terms of finances available or uh, it is just... Uh, uh, these institutions wants to give out degrees and tell students give up a go and seek the job. So, where, where you think the real issue is pinching? Actually, actually it's both. Hmm. If you see, the mindset is, you know, we haven't really started asking questions to ourselves. No. What are our problems? So, means you, you, you want to say, means sir, that critical thinking is not there. Not there. Uh -huh. Second is definitely finances. Uh -huh. You need to pump in more money now. Mm. See, we cannot be less than 1% of our GDP really? into these higher education institution research mm. uh, funding. Mm. So, we need to create a bigger research funding and make this available, particularly in the core engineering sectors. Mm. You see, today, whatever is happening in India is a lot of buzz about the emerging areas and IT, cyber security and all that. But Unless we do very well, similarly, in the core engineering sectors, I think we will not be there so easily. Because the products which are going to come will have an impact on our industries, medium and small scale and even heavy industries. All that has to be indigenously created. See, today we have to stop our imports and start creating for ourselves and also for exports. Absolutely. I think we have the greatest potential. So, you want to become the leader in 2047, this is what we have to happen. Mm. Not only be self-sufficient in our, our own requirements, but also take it to the world. Mm. Our exports have to increase through our research and innovation. And innovation is also very critical because we, we need to, uh, it is not just the research you do and leave it there. Mm. We need to take into products and technology transfers and even including, you know, Packaging is also very, very, very important. Mm. So that is where we need to focus on. And also we need to look at our the humanities and social science angle also. Mm. What do the people want? Mm. Mm. What is their requirement? Mm. How happy with the, they are with our products? Mm. We need to also give them a more, I mean, uh, confidence mm. that, okay, Indian products are also excellent. Mm. So, and also we also have to be a little bit patriotic. Okay, what is being done in India, we need to buy. We should also emphasize that patriotism mm. in our uh, all young people, particularly, mm. see, we are the youngest nation in the world. 66% of the people are less than 35 years. Mm. So, these are the people who are mobile. Mm. They can go to any part of the world. So, they have to be very, you know, uh, patriotic about our country, mm. that uh, uh, India, we belong to that, and they also have confidence to represent our nation. 
So, I think with these two aspects built into their uh, with their expertise in research and innovation, I think we can uh, produce uh, better products than any countries what has been done. This is not really a, you know, India is uh, actually uh, historically if you see 5000 years of uh, civilization and the first agricultural uh, activities started by uh, in this region and you know we were self-sufficient in the last uh, maybe about 200 years we have lost that sheen but I think we need to bring it back this is a golden time this this is the golden time I think if anything can be transformed this is the time because we have now the leadership is also thinking in the direction government is also positively reacting to these changes and the institutions and people and every stakeholder have to work to make India the great again. This, this is our goal have to be that India has to become a Vishwa Guru. I think we need to emphasize more on our research and innovation. So you, you very correctly emphasized on actually the philosophy which is internally within the government of making India Vishwa Guru and taking uh, on that track. Sir, uh, as you see and you said that uh, India is the youngest country currently. But when we are looking at these young people, when we are talking to them, when we are interacting with them, there is a lot of uh, expectations from these young guys, you know. Uh, the society is getting aspirational. Uh, so I just want to just uh, now take uh, a different angle to our discussion. And sir, uh, when we are talking about these uh, the expectations, when we are saying that uh, these students need to actually go ahead, perform, do great job, it creates a lot of stress. So, I, on this part of our discussion, I would really like to focus on, because these are very, very important aspects, because you have been with uh, IISC Bangalore, where again, there is a very high competitive culture. Again, you have been a part of IIT systems, where again, there is very high competitive culture. So, sir, when you interacted with these high quality students, uh, uh, the stress level would have been very high amongst them. The competitive spirit would be very high. So, sir, uh, and then there are attempts of suicides and those kind of things. So. Uh, f from a leader perspective of an AICT institution like AICT, sir. So, what is your mantra for our youngsters uh, when it comes to stress management, when it comes to uh, handling uh, the expectations from the world? You know, you have raised a very important point, which is actually hurting many of our young people. Definitely, we are seeing that numbers are rising. So, the stress levels are also very high among the young people. Competition is very intense, particularly if you look at our JE exams, we will tell you all that. Sometime I think we need to move away from this. See, you should enjoy what you are doing. You should learn what you like to learn. Okay? I think this is what the mantra should be that we should be get stressed and worked up on this. You know, see, you know, we, we all came from a small village. Okay. I particularly come from a small village called Talaku in Chitturdurga district of Karnataka. Okay. We, I studied in a government model higher primary school where you know, we never even bothered about the whole uh, the outside world. We never even knew where was IAC, where was IIT. Even, uh, even when after uh, my uh, pre-university, okay, I did not know even though I did my pre-university from National College, Bangalore. I think that is the kind of life is much better. Because you are not knowing many things. So today, the information is so intense to the young people, they are getting stressed. So what they should do to overcome that? See, that's overcoming that itself is a real challenge for the young people. And I think they should make that first happen. I think, you know, India has given this yoga and meditation to the whole world. Okay. Thanks to our honorable prime minister. 180 and odd countries are today celebrating the International Yoga Day on June 21st. I think this is the solution for us. Mm. Meditation will actually make you calm mm. and you won't be worried about failures. Mm. Because I tell you what you do every day, you know, it is not just sometimes, you know, you have to have a goal. But if you are, if, if you feel that you have failed in that, 
I think that's not should not worry you so much. So, sir, how you handle your failures? No, no, many times, you know, whatever I wanted to become, I will never, never become. And let yeah. me tell you, yeah. these are all sometime accidents. Right. You, you end up there. Right. But you, we always have a goal, mm. saying that okay, whether you will be successful or not successful, yeah. I take this as a challenge. Mm. Okay, I want see unless you make an attempt, you will never be there. Mm. Wherever you want to be there or whatever you want to achieve, you have to make an attempt. Mm. You have to make a sincere and serious attempt. Mm. Okay, mm. whether it is your JE exam or IAS, you know, UPSC exams, or even to because I want to become this, mm. a doctor or engineer or an administrator. Mm. For everything, you have to work at it. Mm. Hard work definitely is very essential. Mm. But at the same time, when that doesn't happen, mm. so you don't need to blame anybody. Mm. Okay, you cannot say oh it's the destiny and all that is not. Try to believe in that. Yeah. But I think there is another step. Mm. So you give another shot of it. Mm. So the failures, every failure, you are going to learn something. Very true. So uh, that's that student should not take that much. Whenever I feel, you know, you are stressed and uh, something is worrying you, mm. just keep quiet. Mm. Keep sit down at one single place without moving. Not you don't need to chant anything. No, you just simply close your eyes, mm. sit down. And don't move your body, not your hands, not your uh, uh, head. Ten minutes, I will tell you, it will relax you. This relaxation practice is very, very key. Mm. And thanks to many of the leaders in this yoga and meditation, they are, thousands of them have a different version of it. Mm. You follow whatever you like, mm. but do that. I will tell you, every day, morning and evening, doing that mm. will take you uh, to face the real challenges of the world mm. and whatever you are facing. But if, I feel, you know, if your goal is to become that, you know, you try again. There is nothing wrong. Mm. You, you try again. Mm. Uh, multiple times also, if you tried and if you are not successful, mm. don't worry. Mm. You maybe there is something else better you will be doing. Mm. So I think you should take your life much more uh, sincerely and seriously. That you know, if you maybe you have chosen the path whatever you wanted to become, mm. may not be the right one for you. Mm. Okay, you have to take that very seriously and change your course also at that time. Okay, if you are not good in something, if you keep on trying, you will never be successful. Very true. So you change your course. Talk to people who are knowledgeable. So there are plenty of people available to you. Friends are there, and parents are there. So this trust should not affect your career or yourself. So I think you know you should start talking to people if you are not somehow comfortable. With your things which are going on in your life, so talk to many of them. Even otherwise, no, no, I, I don't like to talk to my parents. I don't want to talk to my brothers and sisters. Then you know, there are counselors. See, today, mental health should not be neglected. Mental health you have to take seriously. So mental health is the one aspect which we have to focus and understand clearly. That is also a sort of a sort of a disease. If you don't take that seriously. I think uh, we will really affect ourselves. So I advise my sincere advice to the people is: every in everybody's life there is a failure. It is not just yours. That gives you a solace. If I have to ask on scale of one to ten or something of that sort, uh, or when you are expecting from life, uh, what is your ratio in your own life? Because you are one of a very successful person, you know. Uh, you headed best of the organizations in India. Now currently heading one of the premier organizations in India. So uh, success to failure rate, if you have to ratio, if you have to calculate for a person like you, uh, and in th yesterday informally you were telling me that you have more. <laughs> so what what is your failure rate versus success rate? Failure rate, success rate is uh, if you want me to really give me give you in numbers, it's a very difficult thing to say. But anyway, I'll give you yeah. maybe nine is to one. Nine failures is to one success rate. I mean, you you might be saying that many times, you know, but I don't consider them as a failures. Mm. See, every day you will be putting a target for yourself. Mm. If you doesn't succeed in that, it is a failure only. But that is what I I don't consider that as a failure. I say I learned today today something. Okay, this did not happen. Okay, let me see next today tomorrow. If something sometimes you know what happens is 
may be whatever I am trying may be a wrong also. So, I change my course also the way I approach the problem. Okay, a given problem, I change the course of that. You know, a problem may be, you know, I want to become this, I want to do this today, I, I wanted to go uh, introduce a new program. Many things, you know, I will give you one simple example. When I joined IIT Guwahati in 2019, I saw there was no other program other than engineering institution and uh, that is um, core engineering and computer science and other things plus humanities. Then I thought, you know, the looking at the ecosystem and also healthcare system in Assam, I thought it's a good time to think about a medical school in IIT. Coming from Indian Institute of Science, you know, they at the time I'll tell you the Institute of Science Kanpur was also thinking about this medical school. Kharagpur already had done one step ahead of us, created a hospital already, but they are not yet started the school. So, at that time, you know, made a uh, prepared a detailed presentation, made a presentation to the governor of Assam, chief minister of Assam, and then when I made a presentation to the chief minister of Assam, I told him very clearly, sir, this is a very out of the box thinking, because Indian Institute of Technology is getting into the medicine. Why this is very essential? Today, technology, the ones, you know, which we are uh, have to be helping or working with doctors and clinicians to make a complete solution. So, sir, you are saying perseverance is the key, sir. Yes, definitely. You know, one one should not give up. Mm. So, a person keep trying. Mm. And even that applies to not just the individuals, mm. even the institutions. Mm. Okay. Even today, IITs have become so good because if just imagine 1960s they were just elite engineering colleges mm. in 2000 2010 mm. up to 2000 they were only engineering colleges mm. after 2010 additional institutions have been added today we have 23 of them mm. but today you can definitely brand iit is a brand mm. in the world not mm. just here you look at the top uh, achievers and top ceos of the companies and startups and unicorns Everywhere IITs have started. So today, I will say Indian Institute of Technologies are institutes of Indian technologies. Very good. Very good. This is really amazing transformation for an institution. Mm. Why did they become like that? Because they perceived. They were. They did not listen to anybody. They said, okay, we want to do create a very transparent, high-ended, quality, conscious, and such kind of people only they got together. You know, that is the today why IITs are successful because you see in that compound very high end thinking goes on. Whether it is a, a simple mundane of examination conducting or a curriculum, everything is seriously discussed very de uh, democratically and uh, people hear to others views and that is the kind of a thing you know we need to uh, culture. If you want to really become the world leader. India is, that is why it is poised to become a world leader. Our sir, democratization is the key for us. But do you think, sir, private institutions in India can actually become someone like IIT? Uh, it is possible. Uh. I, I am of the uh, strong opinion it is possible. Mm. But right now, if you ask and me… And what they need uh, to do for that? Yes. Right now, if you ask me what is there uh, in them, actually it is not there right now. What they have to do is, I will tell you, institutions have to focus on research and institutions should focus on PhD research. I am telling you, large number of PhD scholars should be admitted in the institutions as the teachers, as even uh, research scholars. I will tell you, PhD is very key. Why? Because that is the time people coolly think about a research problem and how to analyze it and methods to analyze it and question them every step every day they query. Mm. That is where the innovation also come in. Mm. The innovation will come when they ask questions. Very true. So, this culture was missing in the last 100 years because of rote learning. Mm. See, whatever you study, you just mug up and spit it out. Mm. I think we should. Pariksha Pe Charcha is another beautiful example. Mm. So, we need to look at these examinations are really required for us. Mm. 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 You need to examine yourself. Mm. Every time you need to examine yourself, mm. you ask questions to yourself, mm. try to answer them, I think you will be in a better position. Mm. So, I feel these institutions should focus on research mm. and innovation definitely is a component of that, mm. but uh, that also needs to be nurtured. Mm. I think that is where you know AICT would like to mm. bring a more focus on research, mm. 
and innovation. Mm. For that, what else we need to do? One is, you know, asking these institutions to engage more research scholars and PhD mm. holders. Mm. In addition to that, we also have to provide them funds. Funds, funds are very critical. Mm. So, majority of the time, you know, more than the uh, scientific infrastructure, mm. it is the human capital is very important. Very true. Human mind is really mind-boggling. Mm. It's a, actually, I will say it's one of the biggest machine. Mm. Okay. You, you need to nurture that talent mm. in the institutions. Mm. And if you are able to do that, our even private institutions, even government institutions, mm. government colleges can become IITs. Mm. There's nothing wrong about it. Mm. I think we, we, it is the same people, please understand. Mm. It is the same people who are there. Mm. What really, why it cannot happen? It can happen. Mm. Only thing is that space should be given to them. Mm. Mm. That space of the de debate, discussion, and uh, query yeah. uh, automatically this research led mm. innovations will be much stronger footage also yeah. okay i feel that we have to take this as a big step this is what i'm looking at aact will take the leadership role in creating research and innovation mm. india is a country with many languages there are language barriers also we need to understand yeah. that's where aact is doing another major initiative mm. so with uh, with our different uh, you know we would like to provide people to think in their language mm. then it becomes much easier you see otherwise you get stressed by translating in your mind from your mother tongue to english or any other language mm. so we will provide them an opportunity to think in their language and also read in their language so that's what act is actually this language ai deep learning language translation tool will provide soon textbooks which are outcome based education to all the colleges first internally with us with, a, with adopting model curriculum of AACT and to the whole world let me tell you there are countries waiting to read our books so if you can penetrate these books in different languages of the world uh, what has been developed by our professors from IITs NITs and also private universities, I think you know that will change the entire world because these books which are completely technology also assisted uh, books that means we have uh, many you know new features in these books. I think I would like you know many of the audiences today listening to us should look at the initiative of the textbook writing of the AICT which is a fantastic program. We need to put this material in local languages like Kannada, English, Hindi, Marathi, uh, you know, Assamese. All, all these, you know, what happens is that rural kid who is not very proficient in English would be able to pick up and everyone is very innovative if you, if you allow him. The mind is actually, you know, whether he comes from a small village or a, a medium town or a big city, I don't think much difference, I'll tell you. There may be a, a fantastic talents in uh, rural India. So we are actually still today a village centric country. Okay, six lakhs and odd villages are there. So unless we do this uh, change in the rural settings, okay, whether it is infrastructure wise or uh, the people uh, sort of liberation of mind, what we call, okay, we cannot become a fight in economy. So this is very, very critical for us. I think this was a very, very interesting discussion, sir. I think large number of colleges and students who would be watching, uh, would be listening to you, sir, they might have gained immense insights on the way uh, you are thinking of taking AICT forward and what they should do, what they should not do in their life to ha handle their challenges. And as you rightly said, sir, perseverance is the key. So, thank you, sir. It was great pleasure talking to you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaskar. Namaskar to everyone.